Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, welcome to Chef Pachi and today's amazing banana eight grain cereal pancakes. And we are going to serve them with a savory and delicious cheese ricotta tapenade. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add half a cup of the eight grain hot cereal mix. And it can be hot cereal mix or cold cereal mix. A tablespoon of oat flour, two tablespoons of salt, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and one egg. After that, just add a large banana or one and a half bananas if they're small. This is it. It's an amazing recipe. So easy, you can make it anytime. You can use it as a snack. Maybe you can serve it with peanut butter or you can serve it with fruit. You can add some nuts on Today, we're going to make a mix of a savory and delicious ricotta, some bright tomato, and olive tapenade. That's because I'm from the Caribbean and I absolutely love the mix of sweet and sour. I'm using soy milk because I think it adds a little extra protein to our pancakes. Here we go. The mixture is just like any other pancake mixture. You get it? Works perfectly well and you can blend it or process. It takes about 30 seconds to process or blend. Add the mixture onto a non-stick pan or to an oil pan that is hot, not to a cold pan. It's important that it's already a little heat so that the pancakes always come out amazing. This is with any type of pancake mix, with any type of pancake recipe. So without and we begin to see these little bubbles come out of the mixture. It's amazing, it's like magic. I love making pancakes. And the best thing is these ones you can eat at any time of the day. It's, it's a great recipe. Sometimes I mix them like today with some savory ingredients, but other times I just serve them with yogurt and fruit. And that's it. I usually add half of the fruit that I'm going to use to the pan where I make my pancakes. That way, the fact that it heats up and breaks up a little, like the sauce. And that's, you have to add nothing to it, just add the fruit, especially if they're like berries. rest of your whole food, mm, delicious. So this is it. We cook it about 35 to 45 seconds on one side, same on the other side, and we have a perfect and delicious pancake. Here we go. Into serving now our delicious pancakes with the Chef Pachi's ricotta tapenade. I add a little bit extra cinnamon on top, and then I scoop some tapenade. We're going to make it following so you can see how to do it. We serve it with some greens, drizzle it with a little bit of oil, and you can use either pistachio oil or some nutty oil that goes great with the sun dried tomatoes and the olives. And I chose the pistachio oil, which is one of my favorites. I normally do refrigerate it too. Here is how we make our ricotta tapenade. That you just saw, I have it with a piece of toast. You don't have to use it with pancakes always. And what I use, I use a full fat yogurt, Greek yogurt, and a third of a cup of full fat ricotta, and a third of a cup of sun dried tomatoes that I have processed before. Then I measure a third of a cup, and a third of a cup of sliced black olives. This is it. It's perfect. If you want it, but I serve it like this. And I love it. And everyone around asks, Oh, how did you make it? And it's so simple. But it's important that both the yogurt and the ricotta have their fat in it because it gives it a special and particular taste. And don't worry because the olives and the sun dried tomatoes are great with it. Plus, you add like a tablespoon. Like the breakfast.
breakfast and egg, it just goes beautiful. Now we're serving the toast with some spinach leaves. And of course I'm decorating the plate with the spinach leaves. But if you're gonna want to add a lot of spinach leaves, add a little bit of the product with each one so that they don't fly around with you by the end. Remember, with Shepachi, delicious diets are sustainable diets. Enjoy! Shepachi!